What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here and we're doing another movie review and as you can probably guess since the timing and of course the shirt I'm wearing, we're doing a review of the Power Rangers movie which we just saw a few minutes ago on the opening Thursday night type thing and stuff so again we're doing this late so we'll kind of keep it short and again like always we'll do um, a spoiler free first part and then talk about stuff in the second part and stuff so the first part is spoiler free. The movie I personally thought was awesome. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as the original one, at least, because I love the original, so the 95 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. So compared to that, I don't think it's as good because it's not as, like, I'd say kind of like cartoony or childish and stuff, and the characters aren't as great to me. And then with the old movie, of course, you had a story based on, so you already knew the characters and all that sort of stuff, and then they just did this movie attached onto it, where this is a whole new sort of like origin movie kind of thing um so as far as that goes um com or like compared with that in mind um it's still a really good movie especially if you did like power rangers at all or anything as a kid this pretty much keeps everything um like the same well for the most part and then you still get to see a lot of old like classic stuff and a bunch of like sayings and stuff like that so as far as that goes it was um pretty like good and spot on i'd say at least for what I was expecting for it. What do you think about it, bro? Um, I wouldn't say it was good, and I wouldn't say it was bad. I mean, it was a movie. It's worth yeah. going and seeing, at least. Yeah. Um, I do like how it had a more adult tone to it than the 95 one, which was yeah. very childish, and especially after this week of watching people review the 95 and yeah. stuff. Yeah, this one was definitely, in my opinion, was better than that because it was for the adults who grew up watching it. So. Yeah. Um, so, like with that, yeah, definitely had a more adult tone to it. Like, was they, of course, used some cussing stuff, which you can kind of hear that in the trailer a couple times or something. So you have that, and then it's got, like, a darker tone to it compared to, you know, the light bubbly kids show and everything and Rita's were kind of scary and creepy at points and stuff and um, so I could see like kids being scared of that um, I will say with the theater we were in it was kind of funny so there were a lot of um, young kids in it but there were also a lot of people my age or like our age and stuff you know that would would have uh, like grown up on Power Rangers and stuff so it's kind of like a 50 50 split of like older mostly guys there were some uh, like ladies or whatever and stuff probably about the same age and then young kids like 10 and under or so was about what was in the theater so it's kind of cool to get the combination of old and new mixed together kind of thing um so yeah we had the darker tone and stuff of the movie which i think it's rated pg-13 so i'd say it's very much deserving of that rating and stuff um the characters were pretty decent i mean i don't like them obviously as much as the original cast and stuff and I thought, I personally thought they were going to go with, like, the character, like, looks and everything that they did. They should have went with the Mega Force cast and, you know, kind of done like, or did like they did with the original, you know, take the cast, put them in a movie kind of thing. And since Mega Force was the last set of stuff before this whole uh, Ninja Steel and uh, the dinosaur, last dinosaur one and stuff, like, their cast almost matches identically. Uh, identically and stuff like that with the colors and everything so they could have just taken them and put them in the costume and it would have been better um, as far as that and then um, Rita I liked a lot um, just because of the whole like scary and creepiness of her obviously she didn't look anything like her original version and then uh, Alpha I liked as well and then Zordon you didn't get to see like there's not much to see about him or anything so I guess he's okay Brian Cranston obviously did a job but all it was was him talking so um well there was the opening scene where it showed yeah, which we'll get to that um but I don't know of anything else to really add the graphics were pretty decent um I there was a couple of scenes like at the beginning that I was like you know you can totally tell it's fake and stuff like that but everything else was pretty um good for it but um, do you have anything spoiler free to add? No. Okay. Um, so now this is your spoiler alert. We're gonna like to actually talk about the movie and stuff like that. Um, so if this is warning. If you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and shut the video off now. Um, so now we're gonna do spoilers. Um, 
So, of course, with the opening scene, as you said, we had, uh, like, uh, back in, whatever, the, I don't know when it said, 65 million years ago. So, on Earth, when there were dinosaurs and all that sort of stuff, it had the fight between um, the old Power Rangers fighting against Rita and stuff like that, and how it, they got put here on Earth type thing stuff. So, you guys see um, Zed, or Zordon, sorry, how he, like, was supposedly originally looked as a, like, human type thing like in an actual human form and stuff and then you got to see so, like a I think it was the yellow ranger and like her outfit came off and to me she looked just like the um alien rangers did from the um alien ranger series they did between mighty Morphin and, and zeo and stuff so we had that um in the opening there was also the search for the zeo crystal which of course is from the um, Zeo series and stuff like that, or the end of Mighty Morphin and into Zeo and stuff like that, which Zeo's probably my favorite, one of my favorite seasons of Power Rangers. So it was cool getting to hear the Zeo men uh, crystals mentioned. And it said there, of course, there's five of them. And it said that, of course, want to combine them all together to like have an ultimate power type thing. But there's like one on every planet, I think, or something, if I remember that right, or something like that. So, um, kind of leaves it there for, um, to open and expand and all that sorts of stuff. Um, of course we had Rita then trying to build Goldar to be able to pull the crystal out of the earth. Um, so she's go going around gathering, uh, gold and everything. And so she's just taking gold from everywhere and stuff. And so I like the whole, um, the scene of her in the jewelry store I thought was kind of cool where she like ate the gold and it appeared on her face and all sorts of stuff. Um. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then, of course, the putties weren't that... I mean, compared to the original, they're giant rock monsters now. So compared to the old, like, you know, normal average size people in costumes doing weird things, they're more menacing monsters and stuff. And I kind of didn't like them as much because they just look like a monster you'd see in other various movies and stuff like that. Um, Goldar was just weird because he wasn't a normal size and he was just a giant gold monster. Um... And not like the original TV show character and all that sorts that sort of whatever, um, and so I would have liked him been him to be a character that is a, in the other movies kind of thing, um, and so of course the Rangers come together and save the day at the very end, and um, I like the Zord a lot the Megazord put together compared to like the toy that I've done videos and stuff that you can see. Um, so the Red Ranger was in the center of the chest, then it was the pink and yellow in the like shoulder arm area, and then the black and blue in like, like um, just below the hip or in the upper leg area and stuff. And so they each controlled a different part of the body, which was really cool. Um, and I like that part. Um, do you have anything else before we talk about the very end? Um, I like how they made Billy a Spectrum yeah. person. Yeah, they added some, like, modern day, um, I don't know what you, I'd say, like, kids, like, life problems. I don't know how else you would say it and stuff like that. Um, to the characters instead of just them like in the old show they were the character and then they had some sort of like uh physical attribute i don't know what you call it so like the guys were all like martial artists or um of course billy was uh brainiac. Nerd. yeah brainiac and then the girls were gym gymnasts and stuff like that where this you didn't have that they were just normal kids but then each of them had some sort of problem or something um, to deal with that normal everyday kids would probably deal with and stuff too. Um, so yeah, that was kind of interesting. Anything else? Oh, uh, now that I think about it, they didn't show the scene from the trailer where Zack jumps like over a house. Oh. But it's mentioned. Yeah, he mentioned. Yeah, he mentions when he first. Uh, so when they. Of course, they find their coins, as you see in the trailer and stuff, and then the next day they wake up, and they're all, they have powers and stuff like that, and so um, they all go back to the site where they found the coins, and then Zack's already there, um, digging through, like, trying to find more stuff or whatever, and he mentions, um, or they're like, did you have, feel something different too? He's like, yeah, I could jump over a house or something, and so you didn't get to see that scene, so they probably just cut it out, where the, all the others, you gotta see them, like, actually doing stuff. 
Um, so, I don't know of anything else. Yeah. Okay, so since we have anything else, we'll talk about there is a, um, or first, there are two things. Um, one, so at the very end of the movie, after they save um, everything, or like the town, Angel Grove, whatever, which that's one thing I do have to say. I didn't, I personally didn't like the setting of it being, it was like in a nowhere town. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it looked like it was in the desert half the time. Like, just a small, like, um, secluded town in the desert, but then it was on an, on the water, and it reminded me a lot of the town from uh, Once Upon a Time, if you've ever seen that show. Like, it looked like they took that exact town and just set this in that location. Um, so that's one thing I didn't like. But, um, so after they save the town and stuff, all the, like, a bunch of towns, people are coming up, you know, to, like, stare at the Megazord and all sorts of stuff. And in the thing, like, you see it close up, there's, um, the original Tommy and Kimberly there. So Jason David Frank and Amy Jo Johnson are there as a part of the um, townspeople. And so it's kind of cool. And they're both, of course, wearing green and pink and sort of stuff. So that um, was pretty awesome, which I figured there'd at least be uh, some original cast members somewhere spread in there. But then, so goes the credits or whatever. All the credits go through. And they do play um, I've Got the Power, which, of course, was a credit scene or somewhere in the movie towards the end of the um, 95 Power Ranger movie. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but it was like a remix. But then it goes through the credits, and there's a mid credit scene, and it's all the kids in detention again because that's how they started. They're still in detention and everything. And the teacher calls for a new student named Tommy Oliver, which I um, mentioned in a video that I did. I think it was the um, Power Ranger uh, action figures for the movie. The like six, not six, it's the like smaller versions. It's an older video. Um, I think it was that one. I don't remember for sure that or the pops or something. That I said I bet he'll be there will introduce some new kid at the end and it'll be Tommy and stuff and it was you never got to see him or anything but they said his name and then you see a, ta a desk where he's supposed to be sitting and there's a green jacket on it and stuff like that so that was really cool um, so definitely sets up for um, more movies and I definitely want to see more movies out of it and I did read a thing that the um, person of Lionsgate or whatever who made the film said they um, plan to possibly make up to seven more so I think that's going to be super cool and definitely want to see it. Um, so that's going to be it for this review. Um, hopefully you enjoy the movie. If you do, let us know down below. Um, so you, I hope you all enjoy Power Rangers as much as I do and now getting to see a movie on the big screen for the first time since I was too young to go see it back then or in 95 and stuff. Um, so please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And remember, it's awesome time.